Welcome back to Lundgren Braun Studios. What I'm doing my grown up job, I'm a geologist and I've been working a lot in Wyoming. These little prickly pear cactuses grow everywhere and I thought, is it possible to turn one of them into bronze? Today we're going to do some experimental casting and find out. They seem to have survived the plane ride, so the first thing we're going to do is attach it to a wax sprue. I'll use some canned air to try to blow the dirt off of them. So I've got two cactus sprued up here. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm guessing it's going to be pretty hard to get these needles burned out and filled with metal. And I have no idea how the wax cactus part is going to finish either. But you guys asked for it, so let's find out. You can write your predictions in the comments. It's a pretty tight fit, but I think that might work. As long as the needles aren't sticking out of the holes of the flask, I think it'll be okay. You can hear how tight of a fit it is. I probably should get a bigger flask, but I'm still gonna go with this. This is an experiment after all. So they're in there, and the only concerns that I have is that with the two cactus, the needles are intermingling. I really don't think the metal's gonna flow into the needles that well, so I think I'll be able to separate them, but if it does, I'm gonna have conjoined cactus, and that's gonna be a pain. But I think I'll just be able to snip them. I think I'll be able to work around it. And also, the needles are right up to the edge of the flask. And if they do burn out well, that could be an area where the metal flows out. If that does happen, I think the metal's going to freeze and close those holes. I don't think it'll be a big problem. But I've been wrong before. We'll see. The water and powder of the investment are measured out, and then I mix it up. I'm going to very slowly pour this into the flask because I'm not going to vacuum cast this and the slower I pour it in, the less likely I'll have bubbles trapped. It'll go into the kiln where I'll very slowly ramp the temperature up to well over a thousand degrees and hold it there for about 10 hours. The cactus is kind of like a wet sponge so I assume that most of this is going to burn away without a whole lot of ash. But still, as it burns out, I don't want any ash left at all. So I'm going to take it out and use an air compressor to blow out any residue that I can. And you can see there's more ash than I thought there'd be. put it back in the kiln so it heats up to pouring temperature. I want the flask super hot so all that metal can get in those small details before it freezes. While the furnace melts the bronze, I'll get this set up for my vacuum caster. The vacuum will help pull the metal through those tiny little needles and give it the best detail possible. Worst timing possible, my vacuum pump is seized up and I can't get it to work. I've got to pour the metal anyway, it's not going to wait. But I'll give it one more try. And success. Hopefully the metal's still liquid enough for the vacuum to pull it through. Holy cow, my goodness, I did not expect it to turn out like that. I didn't think the cactus needles would turn out at all. And look at them, that's amazing. 
Let's get it sandblasted and take a closer look. So it looks amazing. But I don't know how I'm supposed to work on this. Generally, I like to give it a little bit of polish to bring out that metallic shine. But I can't get in there and polish it because of all the needles. Ow! It's, they're sharp too. I'd like to tap a hole in the bottom and thread it so I can attach it to maybe a block of wood. But I don't know how I'm supposed to secure this or hold it so I can tap it without crushing all the needles. While I think of that, I'm going to change the oil in my vacuum pump. Hopefully that'll keep it working better. Looks pretty dirty to me. I'll put in some nice clean new stuff and that should do the trick. I actually keep my old vacuum pump oil and use that to rejuvenate my Petrobon sand. Is it the best oil? I don't know. You can look at the comments. I'm sure people will tell me. But it seems to work pretty well. So getting any kind of polish on this thing is going to be impossible. So the only thing I can figure to do is just try to tap the hole in it. I just put it in the jaws of my bench vise and hopefully I'll do the least amount of damage possible. If the jaws don't hold it, all those needles are going to be crushed. Thankfully it did. Now I'll tap a hole in it. The jaws are kind of in the way so I'm just going to use a wrench to turn the tap. Now I have something to hold on to. I'll hit it one more time with the sandblaster. Do a little bit more cleanup. And then it's time to put it all together. Since I can't polish it, I'll just add a little metal gloss to it. Make sure I screw it on nice and tight, and we're done. It's pretty amazing that this is all metal, so it cast a lot better than I thought it would. The cleanup was kind of impossible. I did the best I could. Thanks for watching.